Hi, this is Jeremy Quirk with Spot On Solar. We're just uh, going to do a, a little bit of a test here to show you the impact of heat. Uh, we're here in Cleveland, Tennessee, and it is quite warm already. It's probably around 80 degrees outside, about 10 in the morning. And beautiful day. It's just uh, absolutely clear. But one of the things that you have to pay attention to, and I've had some questions on this, is why does my panel not perform as well during the peak portion of the day? And that has to do with heat. Solar panels, unfortunately, do not do well. They do well, but they don't do as well in high heat. Anything above 77 degrees Fahrenheit is technically higher than the ideal testing conditions on which they're rated. So if a panel says it's a 10 watt panel um, and has um, open circuit voltage at uh, 12 volts or whatever whatever the voltage is for that panel those are taken under ideal testing conditions and also the the uh, wattage is a calculation of volts times amps uh, so what you have to know is that when your panel heats up the voltage drops so it isn't at that ideal testing condition if the panel is higher than 77 degrees Fahrenheit which is quite a few days to be honest there's a percentage or a coefficient rating that each panel is given, and that has to do with the diminishment of power once the panel gets too hot. So it's not as if the panel quits working, it's just it doesn't perform at its peak. The inverse is true, meaning that if it's below 77 degrees Fahrenheit, you can expect that the voltage will be at or slightly better than what the open circuit voltage rating was. There are some other factors involved. It's really not quite that simple, but generally speaking, panels perform better in cooler temperatures when they stay cool. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this reading using an infrared uh, digital meter gun that senses the temperature of surfaces and show you here at 10 in the morning how hot the, uh, the solar panel is. This will mean and will show that the panel can't perform at its peak. It will still produce amperage and voltage for your cell phone device or whatever it is, but it's just not gonna be as bright. So here we go. Here's the test. I'm gonna aim the two laser points right at the center of the, uh, of the panel, and it says it's at 122.7 degrees Fahrenheit which is substantially higher, obviously, than 77 degrees Fahrenheit. Well, that impacts the charging of your devices. One of the ways you can keep your panel cool, if it's dry, is to take it off of the um, bucket because the heat will build up inside. Now, it may only drop it two or three degrees, but it's worthwhile to try. And I've got my device on the back as you can see, I've got it taped on and I've got the voltage meter that I'm checking. Um, uh, this is a prototype and I'm aerating the holes, or the holes are aerating the panel, providing some cooler uh, airflow in the back. So I'm going to place this back down. Now it will take a while for it to cool off, but in theory it should cool down. The grass is much colder than the middle of the bucket probably at this point actually it went up because I think we're we're starting to heat up so it's up to 127.2 already and this will probably even get hotter because I'm directly at the Sun 127.7